Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Bronze Spectate. Well then. <laughs> Ooh, the level 3 gank from Kha'Zix the War comes out from Yorick. But Kha'Zix just jumps over it. Yorick does have flash and he's going to get away. Oh, the flash in from Garen under tower. Interesting play. Okay, in this game, we've got an Ezreal top who started a Mana Crystal and Fairy Charm. And he doesn't seem to know that auto attacks draw minion aggro because he's taken so much damage from minions. Rest in peace. Watch out, watch out, Garen. There's two wolves. There's two wolves. You're going to die. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is that a Molzahar with press the attack? Katarina jumps in towards the Molzahar, uses ultimate, but Molzahar just uses his ult, the ignite, and flash from Katarina to try and turn that one around. Oh, Alawi flashes in to kill the Wukong, but he uses his clone wisely. The ultimate from Alawi. Oh, Wukong jumped back in and Warwick says hello. We have got the Yasuo versus Riven matchup in the top lane as Yasuo, who is level 6 and Riven only level 5. Yasuo dashes in, takes a turret shot. That puts him very low. Now Riven hits level 6. Yasuo dashing around. He's going to take a tail shot, flashes away. And loses. The battle continues as Riven is extremely low. She's still going to jump in with the stun. Yasuo has got his knock up. Can he land it? He will land it. He doesn't have his ultimate available. He's going to dash in and dash back out. Okay. Hey. That's not where I aimed it. Oh, Master Yi steals the red buff away from Teemo. He's extremely low. And so he's going to use the Blasting Cone to escape. But Echo spots him out. He's now in some trouble. He doesn't have Flash available. He's going to Alpha Strike through the Dragon. And oh, he may actually get away. He will get away. Master Yi with the outplay. He's getting chased down though. Rakan on his way. The Q almost kills Yi. But he manages to escape. Yes, he does. Interesting build from Alawi. A bit of everything. But she's going to teleport in. Looking for the flank. Uh, she's going to teleport in towards three enemy champions. The 1v3. Didn't work out. Yasuo is going to take down the tower. But he may die for it. As Warwick, oh, he flashes over, and then the knock-up gets the last breath. He turns it around and takes down Warwick, and now he can just get the inhib. The Nexus is open as well. I'm not sure why he didn't go for the top inhib, but he's going to get the middle one. Two of the blue team are left. It's just Malzahar and Rakan. They are going to have to back. He will get the inhibitor. Now he just has to get the Nexus to end the game. But for some reason, he's going for the bottom inhib. Not sure why, as Alawi respawns. I'm pretty sure he would have been able to get the Nexus, but he will get the bottom inhib. Will he? Uh, hello, one more hit. He won't get the bottom inhib. Instead, he's going to go for the top one where there's a large minion wave. He should be able to get this one. He does, but he will die. The two junglers meet. However, Shivana is level 6 and Amumu is only level 4. They're going at it. And who's going to come out on top? It's going to be very close. Shivana just wins the battle. Cassidy really low, but he jumps in anyway. The ultimate from Molzahar. Cassidy flashes. I guess he forgot that he put flash on D and not F. The Nexus is open. Lux looking to end the game. Can she do so as Teemo flashes in to stop her? She will get stopped and the red team will have to wait till they end the game. But hang on. Hang on. Here comes Garen. Garen on the way to end the game for the red team with one leg. He's going to try and do it. Can he do it? It's going to be close. He just couldn't do it. So we have got another classic level 1 invade, but apparently this one is in gold and not bronze. But they do say gold is pretty much just shiny bronze. So let's see what happens as Katarina flashes to kill the Trinomir with Ignite. He will go down, could not escape that one. Trinomir was the jungler, the red team. Do they hang around? Now Darius is going to walk in. 
He's going to land a Q. Um, just some back and forth poke damage at the moment. Jarvan is getting pretty low. The ignite from Nar as Nar flashes in to try and get the kill. Did he kill the Jarvan? No, he did not. As Nar goes down as Darius flash for that one. Gangplank picking up the kill. Karma now very low. Gangplank flashes to take down Karma. Karma also flashed away, but it was a bit too late as she still went down. Corky arrives to the party as well. Trinomir is also back after dying. Darius now escapes and this is going to be it. Hang on, it's still continuing as Lux tries to steal the red buff from Trinomir but is unsuccessful and she will die for it. You know it is bronze when the enemy team picks a full support lineup. Hmm, Lee Sin has forgot to take his jungle item and instead he started a longsword. It looked like he was going to steal the enemy blue buff, but he has decided against it. Instead, he is going to start raptors. Don't worry guys, he did eventually kill the raptor camp, but unfortunately he was still level 1. So we had to back again. Uh, I don't know if he's ever jungled before. Strike firmly. All three inhibs are down and the blue team just looking to get the nexus at this point. As down goes Yasuo, Ash picking up that kill. And who's going to win this fight? Ash gets a double kill. Looking for the triple kill. Oh, her whole team is dead though. She does get the triple kill. Can she get the quadra kill? It's the penta kill. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how you get a penta kill in bronze. Stand and deliver. GG, well played.